Christians are double-minded and hypocrites. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This lesson is going to be entitled Response. Christians are double-minded and hypocrites. All right, and it was on my mind already. And the elder apostle of Rhyme Love, he did a video about it this morning, a live stream. Go and subscribe, be edified always. His lesson is entitled Christians are Double Minded and Hypocrites. This would be a response to that. His page is gmsinfo.channel12. All right, and you brothers that watch, you know who, who the elder apostle is. All right, you don't need an introduction. Anyway, he did this video here, and I was listening to it earlier today, and I, and you know, I was like, this this is the spirit, because it's the same same observation that I made, you know. The spirit, I'm sure other brothers have recognized it as well. There's a video here by uh, Elder Yashawamba. I think it was yesterday. It was entitled, Dr. Brown asks a very unlearned question. Grace is the answer, okay? And this guy, Dr. Brown, is none other than, you know, another one of these apologetics guys. He runs with Vocab Malone. And, uh, he, you know, this dude is, is uh, all over the place. And he had a debate with uh, Sakari or Al-Azhar from the Sakari group. All right. Better known as, as uh, Gorilla Hebrew. Right. And this dude, Dr. Brown, right along with Vocab Malone, they try to debunk what we teach. OK. And make no mistake about it. Dr. Brown is... A 1948er, a small hat, or what have you. Anyway, the dude doesn't understand the Bible. All right, he tries to use, um, you know, fake ass history, among other things, to try to disprove what we teach. Anyway, an observation that I made is what Elder Apostle Rhyme Lob was going into, you know, that Christians are double minded and hypocrites. And he was going into the fact that these devils, Dr. Brown being the main devil, tried to use the law. Of circumcision He tried to use the law of circumcision To come against what we teach And to say that we couldn't possibly be Israelites Which is stupid I myself am circumcised I was circumcised at birth Okay And many Israelites have been circumcised at birth Many of our people Some weren't But as Elder um, uh, Yashawama said in his video Grace is the answer <clears throat> Anyway The hypocritical thing that I've noticed about these devils Right here And I made a comment about it On Elder Yashawama's comment board I said it right here This is uh, Romans 2.25 For circumcision verily profiteth If thou keep the law But if thou be a breaker of the law Thy circumcision is made uncircumcision Therefore if the uncircumcision Keep the righteousness of the law Shall not his uncircumcision Be counted for circumcision And, and, I, and I didn't mean Literal circumcision And we're talking about in, in the heart So the scripture is telling us that If the Israelites that did not keep the law And they start keeping the law Right Would they, would they still be called uncircumcised? No They'll be called if we, Let's read it again For circumcision Verily profited if thou keep the law But if thou be a breaker of the law Thy circumcision is made uncircumcision Which is how We became likened to Gentiles Right, keeping Gentile ways, we were in a Gentile state of mind, should I say? You know, we was living among the nations, and we had been doing after their ways. It goes on. Therefore, if the uncircumcision, those Israelites that, that fell away, keep the righteousness of the law, shall not their uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? And as we know, we're not under. Um, we do still keep the law, but the penalty of the law is not over us because of why? Because of what Yahweh did on the cross. All right. Now it says here, Dr. Brown is all over the place. That hypocrite Vocab Malone sat right there and didn't say a word. Then when we bring up the law, they holler grace. Then Dr. Brown mentions the law and Vocab didn't make a peep. The hypocrisy is unreal. And they've been doing that for a long time. Whenever, whenever they try to go against the Israelites, they always say, we, they, they even said that we teach that you could be saved by the law. And then this devil turns around and tries to use the law, which they always teach grace. Now, as Elder Apostle Rhyme Lob said, either this guy doesn't believe in the Messiah, or the, the you know, or Salakia, or in the Mashiach, he doesn't believe in Yahweh Shai, or he doesn't, you know, or maybe he just a, or doesn't believe in the New Testament. 
which was also mean he doesn't believe in, in the in the uh, savior. You know, now we don't know, but it still remains a fact that that was a double standard. You know, that was double mindedness on the part of Vocab Malone, the other devil. Okay, Vocab Malone is a devil too, just as this guy uh, Dr. Brown is, because as we said, all these apologetics people, every one of those different uh, apologetic people that came against the Hebrew Israelites, when we brought up the law. They've been going back and forth with us over whether they, can, you know, you can eat whatever you want. The law is no longer in effect. You know, that the Savior died and nailed the law to the cross, which is a damn lie. He nailed a penalty, you know, the, um, not the penalty, but the curse of the law to the cross. You see? Why? Because of, because of his grace. Because of grace. Anyway, this devil tried to use the law to bind, you know, to come against us with. And I read Romans 2. You know what was there to show you that even though like elder apostle ramlaw brought out technically anybody that wasn't circ wasn't circumcised was cut off but we was cut off anyway with the most high exiled us but through the saving grace of yahweh shah we've been brought back to the most high so that was a very low dirty tactic him trying to use the law to say that we're not israelites another thing that i noticed these devils this devil he tried to use the curses Right and, and tried to uh, apply them to his people, you know, and you know who his people are. Okay, the 1948s are his people. For the longest time, Vocab Malone and the other Christians, the other apologetics, have went tooth and nail, back and forth, claiming that Deuteronomy 28, the curses wasn't on us, the curses wasn't on the Israelites, and then Dr. Brown tried to use the curses to fortify his position, and Vocab Malone did not make a peep yet again, proving his hypocrisy. This is a, a still image that I got from Vocab's channel. And they constantly have been doing videos. This was from over probably a year ago. But they've been constantly doing videos against Deuteronomy 28 and the curses and saying that we're not under the curses. And, you know, that the Israelites were not under the curses. They were fulfilled already. But yet, Dr. Brown tried to use them to his advantage. This is just a still from Vocab Malone's channel. Israelites even made a Deuteronomy 28 movie. Just to show you that they're always talking about Deuteronomy 28, you know, they love to go into, try to go into verse 68 to use different versions of the book and all of that. Or different versions of, uh, you know, uh, different versions of the Bible to try to debunk what we teach. Still showing the hypocrisy. I'm just going to read a few scriptures here. I'm going to go right here into this uh, Hebrews in 1023 showing that these people are wavering in their mind. They can't get their doctrine together. All they know is that they got a problem with us being the Israelites. And that's to Dr. Brown and the vocab Malone, you're, you're hypocrites and you're double-minded. So this is Hebrews 10, 22. It says, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is, for he that, for he is faithful that promised and let none of, let, and let us, Salaki, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. I want to go back right here to verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Vocab Malone, this guy, here it is, they're trying to come against the truth, but yet they can't even agree in their doctrine. And their and their minds are wavering. This is the word for wavering. Akalines or whatever. And it says, not inclining, firm, unmoved. And they're very, you know, they're not uh, unmoved. They're wavering. You see, they're wavering. They're all over the place because, again, one minute they'll say the Israelites are not under the curses. Next, they'll say when they want to use it to their advantage, they'll say, oh, the, the Jewish people, they're under the curses. They'll try to use it for their argument. Then they'll say, oh, you guys are teaching salvation by works, which is the law. But then this guy can use the law, Dr. Brown, whenever he feels like it. It's just hypocrisy in the highest. And it's easy to see you people ain't got it. You're not the people. This is uh, James 1. And the Lord is against that wavering mindset. James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that give it to all men liberally. What is the all men right here? The book starts out talking to who? James, a servant. James 1 and 1. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So who are the all men? The all men are speaking of Israelites. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, 
that give it to all men liberally. Do all men have wisdom? No. Do all Israelite men have wisdom? No. It's really for the electors who are speaking of, but in the context of which it was written, it was written to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. That give it to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything from the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And that's Vocab Malone. That's Dr. Brown. You're all over the place. You're wavering and you're double-minded. You waver in what you believe. Okay? I got another scripture of double-minded. Which really doesn't really apply. Well, I'm going to apply it to these devils. And it does apply because it's talking to... It's, it's talking to the Israelites, but I'm going to apply it to this devil. Let me say it that way. James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. And I'm using that to illustrate that the Most High does not regard double-mindedness. You know, he, he doesn't like double-mindedness. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned in the morning and your joy into heaviness. So the Lord told our people that are double-minded to cleanse themselves. You know, and he shows a disdain for double-mindedness. And these people are double-minded. And this is why, well, you know, they're the wicked, of course. So they're going to be double-minded. They're going to be hypocrites. That's What else can they be? Let's read another one here. This is, and I can't remember what it is. Yeah, that's not something I wanted. I want to get here... Uh, Job Going into the wicked This is Job 20 and 4 Knowest thou not this of old Since man was placed on earth Upon earth Excuse me That the triumphing of the wicked is short And who's the wicked? Esau Edom The so called white man Dr. Brown being one of them He's one of the wicked He's a son of the wicked And so is Vocab Malone Two sons of the wicked And this is what they do They're full of hypocrisy the hypocrites that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment so right now you got your you know i don't even think they got joy because from what i heard i didn't watch the whole debate i didn't really you know get all into it but from what i heard even on the low level you know even with a controlled climate you still lost the debate dr brown and i don't agree with all that debating and stuff because all these devils want to do is just want to try to sow doubt into what we believe. And let's don't even start going into the prophecies. Good Lord. You people don't fit the prophecies. If you really were the people of the Lord, you wouldn't even be in the Holy Land right now. You know, that's a whole nother video. We can bring out scriptures on that all day long. I'm going to go here finally. And I'm going to read what the Lord said in Luke 12. Right? And it says this. Luke 12 verse 1. In the meantime... When they were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trolled one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, First of all, beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. You know, and the Pharisees, these wicked Pharisees, they were Israelites, of course, which in this case, I don't believe Dr. Brown is, and I don't believe Vocab Malone is, but this is an example. You see, they got that leaven. That hip hypocritical nature That hip hip uh, hypocritical doctrine It says beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees Which is hypocrisy Let's see if we can go back here and get another one This is Matthew 16 And let's go to uh, Hold on here Yeah Matthew 16 One more example In verse 5 and when his disciples would come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Yahweh said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Which when Yahweh perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves because ye have brought no bread? Do ye not yet understand Neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets ye took up. Neither the seven loaves of the four thousand and how many baskets ye took up. How is it that ye do not understand that I spake it not concerning 
Salakia, I spake it not to you concerning bread, that you would you, that you ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And we just read other scriptures that is talking about their doctrine. Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees, which we just read, which is hypocrisy, right? Because they say and do not, you see? And that's really what Vocab Malone them do. Vocab Malone, Dr. Brown, K-Dub, uh, I can't remember all them people's names, you know? The other guy that rap and then mother weird looking devils and David Wood and all of them, they're a bunch of hypocrites and double-minded devils.